Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, day number 18. We are almost, almost to the end. Um, okay, so for today, I wanted to share with you guys a story. Um, I completely forgot to about this, what happened to me. So the other day, I was talking to um, my husband about like spirit things. And I forgot why it came to my mind or what made me remember, but I completely forgot about another thing that happened to me because obviously the only thing I could clearly remember was a story that I shared with you guys was at the hospital when I heard a, a woman's voice. And of course that was like, it shook me and it would, it's like forever in my mind. I won't ever forget forget that. Especially because it's at a hospital. And of course, people pass away there. So, with this story, I, I was living at my parents' house. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, she was probably about a few days old one two days three days like she was really newborn newborn and you know like i said i was living with my parents and my daughter she was a really good sleeper like really good sleeper like you could just you know of course she'll cry in like two hours and then i'll give her a bottle she couldn't even finish her bottle she didn't even finish not even four ounces but it's because she would pass out you know it wasn't like you know because you know, I wasn't trying to, um, if I wasn't feeding her or anything like that, it's just, she would really be eating and she would just snore, like pass out. And of course, you know, they would show you. Anyways, that's a different story about feeding a child. But anyways, um, so it was around the evening time. And around that time, because my dad was... You know, of course, he had his job, and then he also was like a handyman, so he would do side jobs. So, this day, I remember that around that time, whether he had gotten off already from work, or he was on his way to work, some, I mean, coming home from work, I can't remember. So, the thing is, the reason why I'm mentioning is, is my dad is because, you know, what I'm about to share with you guys but either he was outside or he was still at work or on his way home one or the other but the thing was that you know he wasn't like we're visible where i could see him so okay so now i'm about to describe how our mobile home used to look um so obviously our mobile home was long right and not too wide it was just long and you know pretty skinny so on the farthest like towards the street the driveway was the bathroom the bathroom on right here on one side and then right next to that is uh it was my little brother's room so when you get out of my little brother's room you literally like take one step and then turn to the left and you know there is a bathroom so if you take like two steps, you go into the hallway. And it's a little hallway, of course. It's not a big old, you know, house. It's, it's a mobile home. So you turn right and it's a hallway. Probably take four or five steps. And then you, there's a door to the right. And that's that was my room. So in my room... I always, you know, of course it was small and, you know, at that time I was like OCD about my stuff. So my room was clean and I always had to have like the blinds open. Like there was a lot of light coming in. If it was during the daytime, I wanted a lot of natural light coming in. I didn't like none of the whole dark stuff and close the curtains, the blinds and everything. No. Um, so. Okay. So. Passing the hallway after my room, just like two more steps, and it's 
the living room. The living room and the kitchen are, of course, it's the living room first and then the kitchen. It's an open concept. So, you know, you could see, even if you're standing in the kitchen, you could see the hallway. You can see who goes and enters, enters and leaves the bathroom and who turns to my room and who turns to my brother's room. So, you know, you see where I'm going with that. Okay, now by the kitchen and the living room, in between, since there was no wall, there was a little bar area. And we had two bar stools. So again, it was the evening time and um, our living room TV was the only TV that we were able to watch um, like channels, right? We didn't have cable, we just had basic cable antenna or you know things like that so in my room I did have a tv but I was only able to watch movies so at you know this time I'm like I'm in the mood to go watch some regular tv so of course my daughter she was asleep now let's go back to describing you know the hallway the hallway right so of course it's the bathroom and my brother's room one thing that I do remember was both of those doors were closed. Why? Because, you know, when I was looking on what was going on, it was pitch black over there. So obviously that means that the doors were closed. And um, my room always, my door stays open, obviously, if I'm not in there, um, you know, so I can hear my daughter if she cries. So... When I have my door open, when you when you enter my room, right? On I have a window. And that window when you open it, it brings in the the natural light to the hallway. But just in that section, like by where my door is at the hallway, it doesn't like give the whole natural light the whole hallway. You know what I'm saying? So just like by where my door is at um so yeah evening time my daughter was asleep in her crib and i had the door open so right when you open the door you take like one step and there's the crib now if you turn to the left and take one step there's my bed but where my bed is at there's a tiny wall so like if I were to lay on my bed and my doors open with the natural light, you can't see what I'm doing. Not unless I'm standing like where the door, in front of the door or in front of my daughter's crib. Because like I say, you open the door and you walk straight and there's her crib. It was a really small room, but like I said, the only thing that you couldn't see was where my where that wall is at. And where that wall is at, that was my, I had a twin size bed. So it was really small room. Okay. Um, so I was sitting down in the bar area, bar stool, and I was facing towards the living room. So I was able to see the TV. I was able to see the hallway. So I had like a perfect view of everything. Okay, now, at, at this time, like around me, cause I don't remember who was there, if my, well, if my little brother was there at the house or my mom was there. I know for sure I didn't visually see my dad when from the moment I sat down in the bar stool and then, you know, when I realized what was about to happen. So, nobody was in sight nobody nobody it was just me myself and i i was sitting in the bar stool and you know i was looking at the tv and in the corner of my eye i noticed like a shadow perfect perfectly like a male shadow and the reason why i say male is because you the way the way the form like it was muscular, big, um, perfect shadow, like perfect shadow, tall, um, just 
of you know there was no hair like you know you know what i'm saying no hair it was just like a head and the whole and the body like i was able to see the arms and just from where I'm trying to think even if the legs too i can't remember if the I can't remember but everything else else like from the top from like the middle and the top clear clear as day it was a male shadow so of course I'm seeing the TV and I'm seeing the shadow and then that's when I focus on the shadow okay and I could see the shadow like bending bending over like if he, the shadow was about to pick up my daughter from the crib. So, you know, I'm staring the whole time. And in that quick moment, I started thinking, you know, is my dad here? Did he, now the thing is, it wasn't no boy either. It wasn't my little brother because my little brother was like smaller, like a skinny boy, you know? This was a, a wide, like wide, big dude you know so I knew it wasn't my brother at all I didn't even like oh is it my little brother or no it was I'm like is him is my dad here but I'm like I didn't see him come through the door and he does not go in my little brother's room like in there and hang out and I know he never uses that bathroom he hardly uses that bathroom so well at that time so I was confused I'm like trying to like you know when when did he come in you know it was like one of those and then the shadow the shadow backs away but i don't see the shadow carrying like you know doing this type of motion no because i remember it was like like something like this the arms and then it reached over and then you know it backed away like completely backed away from the the reflection of the sunlight coming into the wall to the hallway to the wall you know what i'm saying um so that's when excuse me that's when i got up i got up slowly going that way to see if i would hear or see anybody or anything i i wasn't like hello is anybody there no because you know i know what i saw whether it was somebody or not i was gonna eventually go there and my window at that time um I had one of those ACs that, you know, you could put on the window, but, and then my dad, he drilled it so you couldn't like take it off. And in other words, nobody could come in through my window, not unless you're using a drill and making a whole bunch of noise. So I knew nobody came in through the window. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm like, okay, I'm going towards my room. I don't even go into my room like I quickly turn my room is so small like you could just glance in there and you see the whole room you know so I look in there and my daughter is sound asleep there's from the outside the reflection um and of course you're probably thinking maybe it's somebody from the outside like their shadow no our our mobile home was is how do I tell you guys at the bottom of the mobile home it had um, how do I how do I explain it to you it's it has like enough room you know what I'm saying enough room so you would need a ladder a, a small ladder to you know get up and then jump in you know the window you can't you you need a certain step you can't just try to like push yourself one time you know get in there like like this window if i were to open this window i could jump out and jump in so easily but in the mobile home it was about pretty much that high the bottom the bottom itself and then it's still some some more space of now the floor of the mobile home the floor and then of course the window is still like way up here 
you know, so you need a ladder or some, you know, or somebody's back to get up there and a reflection. It was, come on, you know, it was like that close. And so, you know, that was something that I've, I, you know, obviously completely forgot about it. But when I thought about it again, I'm like, you know, it was, it was really crazy how it happened. Did I feel anything? Did I feel at that moment like I was scared or you know oh there's something in the house I actually didn't um, I felt very safe when my dad was around um, of course things later changed in that mobile home because um, I did get to stay there my daughter must have been already uh, probably six months so somewhere around there when I couldn't stay there anymore, like spend the night because in my mother's room, so it's past the kit, the living room, the kitchen, then it's, you turn to the left and there's a little skinny hallway and it's the washer and dryer. You get out of that hallway and you, you keep going straight and there's my parents' bedroom my parents' bedroom had a walk-in closet and they had their own bathroom. Now, their closet was a very, I never liked the closet. It was always like a, a weird feeling, but you know, I never understood. I don't know, I kind of felt like I was getting squished. I don't know if you guys seen um, uh, I forgot which movie it is, but it's one of the Chucky movies. And it's where, you know, he's at school, Chucky's at school. And, you know, the teacher locks up the little boy in the, in the closet of the classroom. So imagine it just like that. Like, it was small, like narrow, narrow. And then of course, when you hang up clothes, it's more narrow and it just felt so closed in. I didn't like that closet. So this night that I had spent the night was me and my daughter and um, I, it just felt cold. It felt different. I, I didn't feel comfortable, but I wanted to spend the night. And my daughter, she cried her lungs. And I mean, she cried herself to sleep until she was tired and I've never heard her like that. And yes, I could have gone to my house, but you know, I just thought I'm like, okay, maybe she's having a bad night or whatever, but I've never, never heard her cry like that, never. So when that happened, that's when I'm like, okay, I know I'm not tripping. I even left the light on, you know, because I, I mean, come on, you know, I would have turned off the light because I, I don't like to sleep with lights music none of that it has to be pitch black quiet so for me to leave the light on it's because you know i felt something so after that i said i can't do it anymore if i'm gonna visit you mom we gonna go hang out somewhere or go to my house or whatever but you know we can't do this uh spending the night and having lunch at your house no i'm sorry i couldn't do it so all right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, I don't know what you want to call it, type of story, whether scary, uh, shadow person, I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care.